Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to start from scratch sculpting in Blender, especially with a pen tablet. I have a one by Wacom tablet, which is one of the cheapest Wacoms, and I kind of sculpted this head in this video in front of you. I will do it, and you will see, and I will show you all the brushes, I will show you all the shortcuts, I will show you all the settings that you need, they are not too much, to start sculpting from scratch, even if you don't know Blender at all. If you never have opened Blender in your life, you can start sculpting in Blender after you watch this video. So, good luck and let's do this. So guys, when we start Blender, we will see this screen. Of course, without this guy in the bottom left, but don't worry about him. Uh, we will see this screen except for the first time we start Blender after installing because then we will have another screen in which we have to just press save or OK or whatever to get rid of it. And this screen we also get rid of it by just clicking out of it, somewhere out of it. Then we left mouse click and drag with our mouse around the camera light and uh, the box and we press delete or press, press also X in the keyboard and delete. And now we are left with this very sad grid. And now we have to add something here. How to add objects in the scene is the first thing you maybe want or have to learn. So first thing will be to press Shift A. When you press Shift A, this add menu will appear wherever your mouse is, which is very convenient. And Shift A is one of the main shortcuts that you have to remember always. Also, you can uh, go up here in the top left corner. It's not exactly corner, but top left and uh, add. From here, you can add meshes, curves, uh, surfaces, meta, bold text, whatever, volume, uh, cameras, lights, add cameras here, lights in here, a lot of things you can add from there. But we just want to press Shift A, mesh, and go to UV sphere. Don't worry, it's about UV sphere, it's just a sphere, we just need the sphere. So we just press it like this, and we have this sphere now. So. Uh, the purpose of this video is to, to teach you how to use pen, tablet with Blender. Of course, there are many videos that are using you how to navigate Blender with the mouse, which is okay, but now we will learn how to use it with pen. So there are a few things we have to do before we start sculpting with our pen. First, we have to click a few options in Edit preferences so go to edit in the top left this time preferences and i'm sure you don't see edit that's why i will just have to move my screen a little bit more down like this you probably now see it okay edit preferences and here we have to go to input and press emulate three button mouse this is so we can use the shortcuts that i use with the with the pen tablet but let's just trust me on this just click it then we can go to navigate navigation just below it input and navigation are just um, one below and above another we go and click orbit around selection what it does is using the selection so when you're sculpting and rotating the camera the camera will rotate around the point where you sculpt which is very convenient and uh, this is how zbrush works by default and this is how i like to use blender too so orbit around selection very important thing and that's it you just close this and it's over with this very easy okay the next thing uh, now uh, you will notice that we have here layout modeling sculpting uv editing texture paint shading different tabs here uh, above in the, in the top corner in the top uh, part of the screen so layout is the first then we need sculpting that's where we'll go we we'll go to sculpting straight away we go to sculpting and the sculpting is here amazing very nice in the sculpting we have our sphere and we have a lot of brushes here it's very scary we have a lot of brushes i will just pull the side of the brushes a lot so pull it once and you'll get all the brushes in two rows and pull it one more time to see the brushes with names we will leave it like this because when i'm telling you the brushes you can see their names exactly uh, near them so it's okay so first thing we have to do also when we start using 
the sculpting is to press here X for symmetry. We need the symmetry. Basically, we cannot work without symmetry. So we have to use the symmetry. Don't forget to click X here in the top kind of right of the screen to have symmetry. If you don't do this, ah, you will lose a lot. You always have to sculpt with symmetry. So this is one of the things. And we basically can start sculpting with my favorite brush that I start always in ZBrush and here, which is the move brush in ZBrush. And here it's the grab brush. Do you see it here? Grab. The grab brush is one of the most used brush from me in ZBrush and also in, uh, in Blender. So the shortcut for the grab brush is G. So shortcuts in Blender are very important. This is the bread and butter for the program. So uh, let me show you a few shortcuts. I mean, the most of the shortcuts that we will use uh, by when sculpting are those shortcuts that uh, are on the screen. So here on the top, you see are the shortcuts for viewport navigation. So this is for zoom, move, and rotate. So tablet draw means when you press with the tablet and start moving. This is the tablet draw. So control alt and tablet draw will uh, control alt and tablet draw will zoom in and out. Shift alt and tablet draw will move your model. And just alt and tablet draw will rotate your model, which is great. The next, uh, the next. Uh, pack of shortcuts is for the brushes. So the most important brush for me is, uh, is G, grab brush. The next uh, brush is X, which is just a normal brush. I will show you. Uh, the next two brushes are with shift space and one, shift space and two, which I don't like. And we will change their shortcuts very, very easy. So for the draw sharp, which is also one of the very important brushes, we will just right click on the brush just right click with your mouse and then assign shortcut. It's very easy. Assign and then just press one. This will be our one brush. Clay strips. This is the fourth brush here, but we'll make it brush two. So right click, assign shortcut two. And the next is scrape brush. I will show you each of those brushes. I will show you exactly when I use it and when you probably would want to use it. So right click, assign shortcut and press three. Now we have our brushes. Now we have almost everything and we can start sculpting. Of course, the next thing is for masking here. Uh, we can unmask all. We can uh, invert mask, mask options. Mask options is with A, by the way. When we press A, we can invert here, clear mask, shrink, sharpen, grow, increase contrast, smooth mask, all the things mask uh, related. We can do from uh, the A menu, which is very easily acceptable with accessible with our left hand. The next thing is uh, some other things that I will just show you a little bit later. So let's start. I will press G to go to my grab brush and I will increase the size of my brush with the bracket keys. So remember, increase and decrease the size of your brush with bracket keys. There are, another, there are other ways, for example, here with radius on the top. You can increase the radius or decrease it with your mouse here, but it's very inconvenient. With the bracket keys, it's very easy because this is the way you increase and decrease your brush size in Photoshop and also in ZBrush. So it's kind of intuitive already for most people. So now I'm starting to kind of grab and pull a little bit, and this will be just with the grab brush. But remember, I'm pressing Alt and I'm rotating my uh, model. So the most uh, important thing for beginners, this is the bracket keys. By the way, here you can see which buttons I'm pressing, but except for the bracket keys, they are not shown there. I'm not sure why. But um, yeah, for the beginners, it's very difficult to sculpt because they uh, don't, uh, they tend to not rotate and move your, mm, their model enough. They kind of start sculpting with uh, just one uh, view and uh, not going to other views, which is not ideal. Uh, for the most part, you need to uh, change your views constantly in order to get uh, the most of your sculpt. But this will come in time. You just have to uh, get used to the interface. You just uh, have to go and practice a lot. 
Uh, it took me around like maybe five or six hours to get used to this uh, blender and start to kind of intuitively move, uh, zoom and uh, rotate. You see? So you see in my uh, keys here, Alt, Control, Alt, left mouse button, which is dragging with the tablet, by the way, in this case. Left mouse button here is dragging with the tablet because it's the same. Uh, I'm zooming with Shift, Alt, I'm moving, and with just Alt, I'm just uh, rotating, which is uh, the rotating, by the way, is uh, the most important thing. So with the Move Brush or Grab Brush, I can call it Move Brush, and probably you will notice that this is the Grab Brush because I come from ZBrush. I have over 10, uh, 10 years of experience in ZBrush, so I'm a little bit used to Move Brush. But here, this is Grab Brush, so I kind of, uh, you know, call it Move Brush sometimes. So, uh, we will make a kind of a basic female head. Uh, in the beginning, this is what we get uh, before we uh, remesh. This is not zero mesh, this is remesh. So, uh, now we have to remesh. How to do it? There are a couple of ways. And in my previous videos, uh, the guys uh, helped me a lot, some guys. They made some uh, suggestions and they show me some short keys, which is great. I thank them for that, which is which is very nice. And uh, you see, remesh is here in the top. You can change the voxel size. The lower it is, the, the more polygons your model will have. This is the density, by the way. Uh, I mean, the size of the voxels, the size of the polygons, the lower it is, the smaller the polygons are, logically. And then you can press remesh. But instead of doing that, it's very much more convincing to just shift R, press shift R, which by the way I uh, have in my in the in the short case, and then go with the tablet, just move it uh, left and right until you go to 005. This is where I start, 005. After I done this, after I done the very, very basic things for the head, I go to 005 and then control R. Control R will um, remesh it, and now I uh, yeah I hold Control R a little bit, and it just I, I thought it will crash, but it didn't. So yeah, now with Shift I'm smoothing. So remember, with almost every brush you use, Shift is smoothing. So you're using the brush, the grab brush for example, you're using it, you're doing uh, some things, and then you want to smooth, just Shift, press Shift, hold it, and drag with your tablet and it will smooth it. Now I just um, do some traps here. I will adjust the back of the neck. You notice how the neck is pretty thin because this is a female. Uh, if it was a male, then the neck would be much, much bigger. But for the female, it's thin. So for now, uh, up to this stage, I have used only the grab brush and the smooth brush, of course, but the, the smooth brush we don't care about. It's um, it's just shift. We press shift and it's it's there. But you notice that I'm not going to make any uh, face features until I feel my head is in a good shape, well, the, like the forms. So I spend a lot of time doing the forms of the head. So I make sure that it's kind of nice. And then I continue from there. The next thing I want to do is start using the normal brush, which is the draw brush in this case, the first one here in the list. And we will use it by pressing the X key, like you can see here, X is the draw brush. At some point, I probably will remove this list. So, but you, every time you want to see or kind of uh, to see what kind of shortcut you may use, if you forget it, of course, it's normal to forget it. I always forgot them. You can come to this video. You can bookmark this video. You can come to this video. Just uh, click on the beginning of this video and you will see all of your uh, shortcuts here. The next thing I want to do, by the way, it's very important and I advise you to do it every time because every time I restart Blender, it's kind of restart uh, reset. I go to N and with N, I get this right menu here and in this menu I go to view 
and I change my focal length. 50 millimeters is too much. It's too, too big of a perspective. It's not good for sculpting. For sculpting, I use like 100. 100 is pretty nice for sculpting. And I zoom out. And then I press N to remove this menu. This menu is used for also other things, but in this case, in this video, we will not uh, get too much into this. So now I will go to X, which is my first brush, and the draw brush, and with control, I will dig. With just uh, the brush, I will add geometry. So adding geometry with just the brush, and with control, I dig. So control in Blender is the alt version of the brush. So the opposite version of the brush. If the brush is pulling the geometry, like this is doing, the the control version is, when you press control, it's pushing it. So it's the opposite, which is great. And you have to remember that because we use it all the time. Now I'm using the control, and then I'm using just this, and then I will use it with control to make the eye sockets. But I will be careful not to dig too much. Then I will dig also here because from the side view you need to have the forehead and then to go very very slightly to the nose and I will pull with the G the grab brush like this and I will have something like a nose. So you notice up to this point we have uh, something like a, like a, like head a little bit. I'm using only two brushes, basically. I'm using the grab brush and I'm using the draw brush. So with two brushes, you may kind of go a long way. If you know how to use them, of course. It's not a big deal. But the thing is, yeah, now I used another brush without uh, noticing, but it's not mandatory. I used the clay strips brush. It's, it's just a personal preference. Uh, you, you may use the draw brush instead and then just smooth it, but yeah. So, two brushes can get you a long, long way, if you know what you're doing, of course. But to know what you're doing, you have to practice. It. And to practice is not just open the program and start sculpting without anything in your head. You have to know what you want to do. And you have to have references for that. And references, I cannot emphasize enough. You have to use references. You have to always use references. If you use references, you will learn. You will enrich your visual library. If you don't use your references, you will just... Uh, yeah, you will get better with the program, probably. A little bit better with the program. Which is also good, but it will not be enough. So, next thing I want to do is to press 1 to get to the draw sharp brush. Draw sharp brush is my friend and I use it a lot. But draw sharp brush has a little bit of a different in the uh, in in the normal side of this brush, in the normal position of this brush, it's digging. When we press control, it's uh, pulling the geometry, which is uh, opposite of the all other brushes. So I go here in the top and I you know, all the other brushes are having plus, and this one is with minus by default. So I press plus, and that's what I do with this. I don't care anymore. By the way, you may notice that when I change brushes, 1, 2, 3, or G, or X, my brush size remains constant. It doesn't change. If you want this for your sculpt, which uh, I prefer a lot, you may want to click here. If it's not clicked, this radius here, this uh, here, if you see my mouse where it is, in the right uh, position of the screen, there is uh, some brushes, a paintbrush and a paintbrush, yeah, two brushes. If they're not blue, if they're not clicked, sometimes when you change brushes, your brush size will change with the brushes, which is annoying. So make sure this is blue. And we continue to sculpt with our uh, grab brush. So, now, what I want to emphasize also a lot. So, listen with all your ears. If you have just one ear, listen with it. If you have two or more, listen with them. The thing is, you always want to squeeze the most of your uh, current geometry. So, now my geometry is pretty low, but I will 
try to squeeze it as much as I can. I will try to make the nose as much as I can, the forms of the of the of the cheeks and the eyes a little bit. I will try. I will try to fix the eye sockets to make them a little bit better. For the forehead. I will make even uh, the ears, and you will see that. I will make the ears, and I will show you. But uh, let's wait a little bit more. So I'm making all those things before I go to the next level, which I will show you how to do. Of course, you already know that probably. But in order to make the ears, what I do? Pay attention. I will make the ears. So many people are doing this. They are taking, for example, uh, one uh, standard brush and just doing this, which is awful. Don't do this. Control Z. Okay, now. I will press M for my mask brush, which is very intuitive. M is for mask brush, I is for inflate brush, G is for grab brush, and X is for draw brush. Yeah, not that intuitive. But M is for mask brush, which is intuitive. And just when I press M, I just make this kind of a, you know, mask. Then I have to invert this mask. You can invert this mask by uh, pressing Control I, which is invert, of course. But sometimes I use just A, which is the mask options, and just move my mouse to the to the left. So uh, if I uh, kind of A, mouse to the left, just fast, you know. And this is very convenient. When you get used to this method, you will be super fast with your sculpt. And now I will use my grab brush to just grab it and move this ear away from the head. And you see... She will become with very, very big ears, but it's not a problem. After I'm ready with those ears, after I sculpt them, I will easily pull them back into the head. But in the beginning, I want them to be further away from the head. Now I will clean the mask. How? Press A and then clear. So the left. Clear the mask or you can press, of course, Alt M. But Alt M uh, is kind of combination which is further away. It's more difficult to do. You can get uh, kind of pains here in the in the in the hand. So it's better to press A and just use something of these options. And the most options that I use is invert mask and clear mask from here. So just left or right. It's very easy. Okay. So now with the with the G. With the groom brush, I would say, but it's not groom, it's it's a grab brush. So the grab brush, I'm just using it here. Uh, you see the polygons here are much bigger, but I don't care. The next level of uh, my, um, my remesh will kind of clean this off, and it will be nice. I'm trying to make the overall form of the head, the cheekbones, the cheek fat, and everything up to the point that I'm happy with it. And I'm kinda happy now. Hopefully I kinda said uh, most of the things that you need to know to start sculpting in Blender. Of course, I will continue with the information now. So, what I'm using now is the standard brush, the draw brush. It's called standard brush in, in ZBrush. The equivalent is called standard brush. In, so, that's why I'm uh, saying that. So grab brush, just move things a little bit, and then I want to make the mouth. So I always start the mouth with the draw sharp brush, which is a damn standard brush in ZBrush, but you don't care about that. And I just go from the corners to the middle like this. And then with the grab brush, I will make the upper lip big, the lower lip round and be careful from the side view you always kind of want the lower lip to be a little bit behind a little bit uh, more inward than the upper lip the upper lip to be more on top uh, that's kind of better uh, especially for the character that i'm doing i'm doing uh you will see what i'm doing if it kind of starts uh, to look like her it's not gonna be exactly a good replica of this particular character because I don't have a lot of time. You know, my videos are around an hour long, most of them. 
and for for likeness an hour is pretty much uh, not enough of course i've talked with some artists that are doing likenesses and they told me that between 10 and 20 hours you have to put in one head especially uh, but if you know what you're doing to start looking like the character of course in the beginning you have to pick your references you have to know your references and they have to be good so i'm kind of happy with my result for now i'm not let's say i'm not super unhappy with it i kind of like it so what i will do is shift r again which is remesh and let me open remesh in here so you can see what i'm doing so shift r and i'm dragging away until it's 0.01 or a little bit below so a 0.009 for example yeah and then click and now see this option here changes it was 0.05 and now it's 0.009 which is the the, the the next step the next um, geometry step some people are saying why don't you use um when you go here add modifier multi-resolution multi-res modifier that they, they say uh i've been there done that it's not working for me multi-res modifier you add only if you have a good nice topology on your face if you have stretch topology or not very good topology you have triangles or something if you add this modifier there will be places that your model will look like something from behind it's not good so i will not use it uh, i use only the remesh modifier which is almost identical to the dynamesh in zbrush which is cool i mean i always use dynamesh in zbrush if you don't know what zbrush is it's okay okay now g for moving and now if i want to remesh i press here remesh or i press ctrl r which i do which is better i mean press ctrl you see the model became a little bit uh -uh, but with shift i smooth everything but i go easy with the smoothing because if i smooth it hard i will lose the features so i go easy with the smoothing just to smooth out this kind of uh, squares or polygons that are left behind and now we have kind of a nice face and then the magic will start to happen with our draw sharp brush i will make it small and i will do this from here i'll do this in the mouth and you see starting to look nice then I will kind of very, very easily go here and here and I will do some stuff with only this brush. I will do the nose, nostrils. And you notice how I'm navigating the viewport. I'm always rotating and moving around and doing stuff. I'm not just staying in one position and sculpting because this will be a mistake if you do that then i will go to x again x gonna give it to you and uh, yeah this is the upper lip it's starting to take shape i will make it a little bit bigger probably it will be better for us in our case then again i will go to this brush which is uh in our case it's the shortcut is one by the way, I, I didn't show you, by, but, but by default, with shift space, shift space bar, you can get all your brushes here and you can choose from them or shift space, for example, 4 will get you this brush, shift space P will get you pinch brush and stuff like this, which I find a little bit uh, difficult to, to do. I mean, I don't like it that much. So I will try, uh, I'm not using that. And I showing you what i use i use only like eight brushes all of them are in here in the shortcuts i will remove those shortcuts by now we don't need them uh, at least for now and uh yeah you already saw them but uh i'm using only those like eight brushes maybe no more especially for basic sculpting like just making a head 
something like this. We don't need a lot of brushes. We don't need all. We only can do it even with two or three brushes. It's just that easy. But of course, if you can, if you can know what brush you might want to use, it will be easier for you. So now it's starting to look kind of funky. Of course, when we make the eyes, you maybe will notice what character I'm doing. But for now, let's keep it a secret. And uh, of course, you can go uh, forward into the video and see what happens, what the end result is, and if it looks like uh, something uh, familiar to you. Let's make the ears. So uh, even now, the geometry is a little bit bigger for the ears. So I have to struggle a bit. So I notice even for myself, I sculpt for over 10 years digitally. So even for myself, if I go a little bit earlier uh, to more polygons than I need, uh, before I squeeze the polygons uh, as much as possible, I kind of feel a little bit more difficulty doing the sculpt. So. If you are a beginner, especially, you have to always squeeze the resolutions. Just work uh, on the lowest resolution possible as much as possible. Of course, uh, you cannot stay in the lowest uh, resolution like hour or so. It's, it's useless. Uh, for me, it's, you saw how I use it for like a few minutes or something. But I'm pretty fast. Uh, when sculpting, so I'm not exactly, uh, you know, you cannot see me as an example, on a super right example for you. In this, okay. Now let me just do a few. Just, just I want to do it. You know, just a little thing here, 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 here. Just a few things. Just to make it more interesting, inflate brush with I. Just inflate a little bit here. All right, it looks good enough. I will smooth it here. And maybe the chin is a little bit big. I will move this down. Okay. Yeah, the chin should be like this. Just using the grab brush. Of course, you can mm, even make one model only with the grab brush. It will not be that hard, uh, but uh, it will be harder than using most of the brushes. But grab brush for me, except especially for me, it's just uh, the the most used brush. I use it a lot, the grab brush. Now I'm using, of course, the normal brush, the draw brush. And just very easily smooth and use it and smooth and use it and smooth and also sometimes use it and smooth okay uh, let's not get too much so the the nostrils are not looking good for me I don't like them so I will kind of try to make them better with the grab brush from the side view and with some other brushes maybe but with the grab brush mostly and then i can go and sculpt a little bit here so you see the details of the face you cannot just draw them over the face you have to sculpt them inside the face the nose is kind of inside the face the mouth of course is very much inside the face so everything is inside the face you cannot just draw it over it most beginners i see are just trying to draw over and it's uh, awful i mean it's not happening very good so now let's do this and by the way when we do this just from the corner of the eye down and away and then smooth it a little bit and it's starting to look more alive let's make the eyes oh i have no patience i have to do the eyes but first the eyebrows a little bit like this this is the eye ridges, it's the, not the eyebrows themselves. But I will include one brush here, which I like, which is the scrape brush. Uh, the equivalent in ZBrush is the high polish brush. It's polishing the surface, it's making it flat, which in most cases are, it's very good for some forms. 
to make them more like nicely looking to make them just more flat it's very good and then smooth of course I always kind of use the smooth after those kind of things we will make the ear, the eyes a little bit later but for like uh, less than 30 minutes this is looking promising of course every um, artist uh, zbrush or some which who knows what they're doing can make this kind of thing in this time probably yeah i will not say that uh, this is my first time doing this uh, character i did it maybe huh, let's see not 10 but around 10 times in the last uh, few days i did her so i kind of know what i'm doing even if i'm not looking at the references although i like to look at the references because it's kind of more convenient shift c by the way is the crease brush and i can use it to just kind of uh, make this uh, nicer lines and then smooth of course again and then i crease here also and then i smooth and then we have uh, something that's looking good mm. i can crease also in here which i'm not sure i need but whatever so what i mm, want to say is that uh, you need to practice i practice a lot now you see uh, i'm starting to see uh, labels i have to alt and tap and alt and tap again and now it disappears sometimes it just get bugged uh, zbrush is the same by the way so let's make our eyes this is something like the eyes yes i've seen uh, representations of this character around the internet the last month or so people are always doing her and i say why don't i do it in my style just for just for a few minutes like an hour or so of course um it's pretty ambitious it's almost impossible even for me so yeah but uh i will just try you know in the beginning it will not look at that good but maybe with a little bit more time we can make it so you notice if you noticed i'm working with the move brush a lot and sometimes i'm using also x for the draw brush i'm using yeah g for the move brush x for the draw brush and some other brushes too i'm using a few brushes but not too much you know i'm not using uh like many brushes which uh, is good i mean <laughs> which is good for you because you don't have to remember a lot of brushes this means you don't have to remember them it's just just a few brushes and their shortcuts are very easy g for the for the grab brush x for the draw brush and uh, some other brushes <laughs> so now <laughs> yeah one uh, because we made the shortcut for the draw sharp brush as one clay strips at two and scrape brush at three and inflate brush sometimes we use with i inflate and uh, that's mostly it i mean we don't use that much brushes we are using just a few so i may show you also how to make a uh, hair but in the last video some guy <laughs> told me that yeah the model is okay but the hair is awful and i i'm just a little bit you know ha huh, should i make a hair or something i'm not sure maybe i shouldn't make a hair because it will be awful definitely will be because but maybe we can make something like the hair and then in the final thumbnail of the video i can just remove the hair i can just say okay no hair all right it's fine without hair it's fine we'll see we'll see but this time the, this way i will show you how to make mm, different things how to add objects to your 
model, not just the one head or one whatever you are doing. Just to add more things, which will be nice. Yeah, she is looking like a man, a man now, which is not good. Because she's kind of sexy, the, the actress. It's kind of nice looking. I like her. But I kind of can't do her now. <laughs> Not can't do her. Cannot sculpt her. Good enough. Although I'm trying, you see. I'm kind of trying. I'm uh, trying hard. It's not exactly working well. Yeah, the nose is not exactly right. Even the, the jaw is not exactly correct. And there are a lot of things that are not super, super nice. And uh, exactly correct. That's why uh, those things take time. Because you have to uh, go over everything and just make sure it's exactly the right proportion, exactly the right uh, forms and everything in order to make it work. Otherwise... It will just be a gen generic head or something, which not everybody can do, but it's not uh, the thing you want. It's not the thing you want. So for the... Let me see what is the nose. Okay, it has to be a little bit. I'm looking at my other window, a little bit of a references. Yeah, I'm just with the grab tool. I'm just working here. Yeah, from the side view, it's not looking super bad. Breaking Bad. By the way, Breaking Bad, if you haven't looked at this uh, TV series or whatever, I'm not sure how it's called in English, uh, show, TV show, Breaking Bad. Yeah, I saw it a few, a few years ago. Uh, all, like, uh, I'm not sure how many seasons were, like, eight or nine seasons, I'm not sure. And it was amazing, and I will soon probably look at it again. It's amazing. Just one of the best TV shows in the rank of Friends and House, but it's better cinematically. It's very well made. So, um, you see, my geometry in the right and the left, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different. So, what I do is go here up with this butterfly, but go to this little tiny arrow in here and just on the bottom symmetrize and now they are the same so yeah you may not want to for your geometry to be exactly the same but i want it to be the same it's easier for me to um, to get better control over everything and i'm a control freak i like to control everything most of us like to con like the control you know which is absolutely normal. When we are in control, we feel safe. When we are not in control, we feel threatened. Threatened. That's why, by the way, the virus is uh, confusing for many people. And me included. Yeah, you see, using the, the normal brush, the draw brush, using everything... I'm using the grab brush. Now I will make the neck a little bit longer and thinner. Although it shouldn't be ultra long and ultra thin because it will look like a cartoon character probably. So we have to be careful about that. The eyes are kind of nice. I mean, yeah, it's they're okay. They will do. Most likely. Let's make some basic brows. Arrows. Around this area. Yeah, the brows are giving her a little bit more life. I would say. And she's looking a little bit like the actress. Um, but not too much. Maybe like this. 
the chin should be more squarish. And I cannot say the name of the actress because it's difficult for me to remember it. I don't remember it, basically. But she is from Squid Games. Squid Game. Which uh, series, by the way, is... Like, everybody says, this is amazing series. Just, oh, everybody should look at it. I haven't watched it yet. Because I don't have Netflix subscription. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's absolutely shame. The thing is that... Um, I have kids. I have also work. And I also have to practice for my YouTube videos. And I also sometimes have to start my newest course. Which I haven't yet. So that's that. And uh, Netflix will kind of interfere with those things. So if you want uh, things done. You probably want Netflix out of your life. Uh, for the time, I mean, that you are doing things. Because Netflix has a lot of interesting things and they will kind of not boost your creativity and your uh, moral or whatever. It will interfere, I think, with everything. Okay. So it's she's starting to look a little bit but the thing is that it's not enough but it's kind of we're kind of getting there a little bit maybe this is kind of enough we are 45 minutes into this video and I've shown you a lot of things I think hopefully this video is pretty useful because a uh, few months not few months when I started sculpting in ZBrush, in Blender, in Blender, it was uh, maybe a, two weeks ago, I started more seriously, like started really to want to sculpt in Blender, and I needed a video like this. But I couldn't find exactly a video like this, which showed me the brushes, how to use them, uh, what to do with them, and uh, stuff like this. Yeah. And I will show you one more thing. If you happened to watch this video until this point, you will see something interesting. Sometimes you may just by accident do control space. And when you do a control space, it's very nice because you kind of go away, your, um, your interface goes away, which is fine. But it's not exactly nice if you don't know how you did it. And I did it once. And it was like, wow, everything disappeared. Where is... You can go back to previous here in the top left. Back to previous. Or you can press control space again. So it's not a very kind of thing that will kill you. It's not. It's okay. You can, you can deal with this. So for this, no. I press X and just a little bit do this. More feminine. Yeah, maybe the nose is too big. Let's make it a bit smaller. Yes, maybe that's uh, the thing. Oh, there are tiny things that we have to do in order to make her in order to make her look like. Yeah. So now I will stop working on her face uh, because for now it's fine. If you if you want more detail, you of course can go Shift R for the voxel size and go even lower like uh, point, uh, zero, zero, 007 or something or even lower and control r but when you do control r you see yeah some things are happening some artifacts are starting to appear and i will go even lower since i have already this artifacts i don't care so control r and i wait and even with my computer which is pretty good I have to wait a little bit until I get the result done, which is okay. I mean, uh, Blender is a great program since it's cheap, free. Uh, yeah, and some guy tell in the in the comments of the previous video, he said, "Yeah, but you have a ZBrush uh, Core Mini or something which is free." Yeah, but uh, <laughs> what can you do with it? I mean, uh, Blender can be used for production and. Blender, you can make 
real game characters with clothes and uh, hair and everything in Blender. Basically, and sculpt them and UV, UV them here and texture them here and you can do everything in Blender if you are, you know, good with Blender and with uh, characters. In, Z, in Z-Core Mini, which is free, you can do basically nothing, almost. I mean, you can do just one mesh like this, uh, just character, which is, uh, I mean, it's basically nothing. So, uh, don't compare one thing with another, because they are incomparable. You know, uh, <laughs> with Blender, uh, you get much more value for your money than with ZBrush Core Mini. We can say that. Yeah. Blender gives you much more value for your money. <laughs> so, uh, if you learn how to sculpt in Blender, it will be mo more useful than to learn how to sculpt in ZBrush Core or whatever. By the way, if you learn how to sculpt in ZBrush itself, it's also useful because ZBrush is industry standard and it could be ZBrush the industry standard for much more many much many years it will not change this will not change uh, in an in one night or whatever it will still be industry standard but uh, blender is catching up a little bit a little by little little by little blender is catching which is good and i kind of wanted to hop on this blender train and hopefully, I will help you to hop on this Blender train too. With those uh, shortcuts, uh, which are default in Blender, of course. Most of those shortcuts that I show you, these ones, are default in Blender. They are not, I didn't uh, make them up or something. Those are the shortcuts. I'm just changing a uh, few, few of those just few brushes and if you want to be fast in blender you should change them too so let's press Control shift which is kind of masking and let's just mask parts of her head and just uh, just basic you know and then we can go to mask mask extract that's what i do it that's how i do it i mean this may be not the way but i do it mask extract and just ok which is okay, yeah. Ok is okay. I will remove this short keys. And then uh, what we'll do is we are not in sculpting mode anymore. We are in the sculpting tab, but we don't have the brushes here, which is very scary, but we are in object mode. We can go here and go to sculpt mode. We can go back to object mode because we need to. You can change that with control tab too. Control tab, object mode, sculpt mode. Object mode, sculpt mode, object mode and other modes, but I use those two the most. When I uh, use polygon modeling in uh, Blender, which I use, I go to edit mode sometimes with just tap, pressing tap, it's easier. But now we need to be in object mode. So we're here, we go to this wrench icon here in the right part, wrench, because by default we are here in the wrench and just apply this modifier because this is a mask extract modifier something that it is. We have to apply it, so Control A, but Control A doesn't work that much. So I will just go from this arrow and apply the arrow and apply, and then I will go Control Tap down Sculpt Mode, and now I will uh, clear the mask or just uh, remesh with Shift R. I will go down 0 0.03, and then Control R. So Shift R, and then moving left and right to kind of choose your destiny and then control R to apply the remesh and in my opinion as an uh, as a digital sculptor for more than 10 years this is the best way to start your sculpt at some point when you basically remesh when you remesh your model I mean when you um, retopologize your model, you can, of course, go and do something else with it. So now I will show you how to do hair with the draw sharp brush. So,
press 1 to go to the draw sharp brush because our shortcut is 1 or just press here and then you can go like this and then with control like this now you can go like this and control and then like this and control and then just S curves and you are kind of fit you are okay those S curves so she is looking a little bit like the the character or the actress I'm not super happy with the result of course but I'm never happy with my result almost never especially the likenesses I never can quite do them that's why I'm not trying that hard to do likenesses this was just a gimmick this was just a kind of uh, you know just to to try myself and to kind of do something more interesting than the usual random faces that I do of course the hair for the character is not exactly like this uh, she has some uh, hairs like here uh, let's make them as one maybe as one hair one kind of a bulk bulk hair and it will look awful I tried it already I know but I just wanted to show you how to make mm, something else another mesh for example and I will show you also how to make a body if you want even now I will show you uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more time yeah we'll have five more minutes maybe this video can get a little bit longer than an hour which uh, is not good for the YouTube algorithms because longer videos are not very well recommended but I don't care uh, until this video is kinda useful and people are, people are getting useful information out of it which I think most of my videos are and that's what I'm trying to achieve I'm not trying to achieve uh, the to be better with the algorithms or something I don't care about that that much I care of course because I want my channel to be viewed by most more people and they uh, to those people to buy my courses and that's that's making me money you know I kind of live uh, with that a little bit although I'm working of course as a 3d character artist full-time but still I can use those money for the kindergarten for example of my uh, kit <laughs> you know so here we can just with the grab brush do this then with this we can go here But if people are finding those useful, those uh, videos that I'm doing, they probably will buy my courses even. So now if I want, yeah, the hair is awful, I know, but it's just something. So if I want to go back to my head, how to do it? Let's try from here. It's not going to work. I mean, now I'm working still even the head seems like it's selected I'm working on the hair so if you want to easily change between the meshes here you have to go to edit and this option here lock object modes just unclick it and now it's unclicked so now we have to go we can change between meshes and the sphere when we go to the to the hair which is mesh <laughs> here and the sphere is our hair head uh, we, we are in sculpting mode if we go to our sphere, the head, we are in object mode, we can easily just control tab and go to sculpt mode. And now when we change, we are in sculpt mode with both. So we can change between them. Now, I just want to... Just this chin is not looking particularly nice yet. And it probably will never look particularly nice. But it's the way it is. It's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. <laughs> Alright, the ear is not exactly her ear. Her ear. But uh, it's looking nice. I mean, now, if we make a texture or poly paint or whatever, and we make a nice hair, nicer hair, she will look almost exactly as the player 067 I think was in the Squid Game movie 
in the Squid Game series. Let's go to the here and just... Okay. Yeah, this here is just, uh, well... Uh, okay, if we want to make the body, we have to... Uh, uh, because Shift A now will not work. Shift A is just uh, masking uh, by something. It's not working here. We have to go to Object Mode. So Control Tab, Object Mode, Control Tab 4, or Control Tab and just uh, go faster on the left with your mouse. And now we can use Control A to add UV Sphere. Then we can press G to move it. And before we drop it somewhere or press with our tablet, we press Z to move it only on the Z axis. And then we drop it here. And then we can control tab sculpt mode. And yeah, we have symmetry. Make sure we have X here selected to have symmetry. And then we can grab it and move it and start doing our body. Of course, this is, uh, I will not show you how to do the whole body or something. I'm just showing you that you can just do those things if you need to. This is the body. And uh, yeah, it will have some. I'm control R. When my polygons get very well stretched, control R. And then continue working on the thing. You see, it's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Of course, using some brushes, using some stuff, and then you are kind of okay. And then you can, of course, change between them by just clicking on them. Yeah, if something is not in uh, sculpt node, you can go here and sculpt node or control tap down and you will be in sculpt mode. And then you can with the grab brush, yeah, we have to select this. With the grab brush, we can move it around. We can make it as a tentacle, <laughs> which is now. And then if something becomes very thin like it is here now, I can go to inflate, inflate brush with I, and just inflate it a little bit. And it's, it's done. I mean, uh, don't be afraid to do this kind of things if something becomes like this. And then with the shift brush, when you smooth, especially things like uh, hands or legs, they will get thinner. And then you can inflate them again if you need to, like this. Maybe inflate them at some points. And then we can grab brush and do this, control R again, and try to do something like a palm here. And this, of course, is not mandatory at all. I'm just showing you how you can continue your sculpt to make a full character if you want. Control R will always help you retain some level of polygons, even if your polygons are starting to get super stretchy when you want to make legs, for example, just Control R and then inflate them because here the thighs are pretty big and then do this and that. And for example, if you want to make the ass, just inflate this area to have some polygons, to have some volume here. And then with G, just move it around. Just do what you kind of want. And yeah, that will be it. I will hide this because this is just, uh, we don't want this. I was just showing you and I will probably hide also the hair. I will Alt M and I will leave only this because the other things were just to show you, they are just gimmicks. And uh, maybe if uh, people want, I can show you how to use the... Uh, let me show you very quick how to use uh, one other thing, which is pretty cool here in Blender, which I don't think other softwares have. Uh, so this, um, I'm not sure exactly where it was. I will, yeah, grease pencil, blank. Then we go to... Excuse me a little bit. I'm a yeah material new. Yeah, this is solid. Then we have to go to pen. No, this is annotation, not here. We can go to draw. 
uh, radius and everything. We start no. Yeah, this is a little bit awkward because I'm not exactly sure how to do this. Origin is a surface and it's very small like this. Yes. And now uh, notice how we can do it. We can do ice. I don't know if we have symmetry with this, by the way. Uh, it will be nice if we have, but uh, probably we don't have. So I will do the ice. By the way, the, the perspective here is huge. So let's see. Oh, yes, it's 50 millimeters again. Make it 100. Uh, yeah, we can go to the erase brush and erase it. Then go to the brush again. We can make eyebrows. Yeah, I know this video is uh, becoming super large. But um, I just want to show you. It's very cool. The grease brush is very nice. The grease pencil, I mean, it's very cool. Hopefully it will be visible. You can do those things. And then at some point, at some point, you can kind of disable the head. And then you will have just a three-dimensional drawing uh, which is amazing but well, let's see if we can do it or it will look very ugly probably it will but whatever I don't care I haven't tried it exactly I tried it uh, try I have tried it with the uh, hair I have tried to make hair with this grease pencil it kind of works a little bit over the the other mesh of the hair but it's not exactly right so yeah so we have to do these things here otherwise it will not work it will not be a three-dimensional shape now probably it won't be too but whatever we'll see Yeah, let's see it without the sphere. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, by the way. You can do interesting things with this grease brush. But whatever, uh, I can show you if you're interested uh, in how to do it. But this is how you start sculpting in Blender. Thank you for watching and... Uh, you can find my courses for anatomy and uh, other things, mostly in ZBrush below. And for now, I will just use a little bit more this grab brush here. Yeah, the nose is uh, odd. The nose is pretty odd. But for now, I will tell you goodbye and this video became pretty long but hopefully you like it bye for now